Okay, I hope this is on me. I don't know. I can't. I'm a very bad hold the camera person. But I'm watching this video about affluenza. And I'm like, what the world is affluenza? And it, I, I was watching this video called Teenage Affluenza. And it sounds like, okay, there's a high rate of teenagers getting sick with something. No! Affluenza is basically greed and selfishness in upper world countries. It, it's just dumb. Like, why would you name something that sounds literally like a disease that is mutated from influenza, the flu virus, and it's actually just people being greedy? Oh, my material possessions don't make me happy anymore, so I need more. That's affluenza. Freaking get on my nerves. And then this other commercial had the nerve to tell me to do something because other people in the sad countries that have been sad since the beginning of time needed me to do something instead of me helping myself. I need to help them. No, I'm not going to put my life on the side because they were born in a bad place. I could have been born in the ghetto. That does not mean that people are going to stop to help me. There are kids living in bad places in good countries. No one stops to help them, but the people in places that are poor and sad on the other places in the world, like Africa, oh, they need help. But the kids getting shot every day don't need anything. No, no, we're going to leave them. We're just going to send police around every once in a while. Like, no, no. This, this is stupid. This is getting on my nerves. This is literally making me angry. You know what? This is, no. It's like, are you kidding? Okay, so because we have so much stuff, and we know we can advance and make more, and that we want more, we have affluenza now. Yeah. Oh no. They're gonna, like, they're gonna, are you kidding? It's not even a virus. They say it's a virus, but they have a little drawing under the microscope. This is so stupid. Oh my gosh. Swollen expectations. You know why we have those expectations? It's because we can. Because we live in a country where basically you could get anything and everything you want if you do it right. So don't don't be mad at the people. Be mad at the country. Like, like seriously. Oh my goodness. I can't do this. Where is where I can't watch this no more. I ain't even I can't uh uh no. No. Just make me mad. Just make me mad. Talk about oh, that's just a first world problem. Because first world problems aren't real problems. Crap happens here too. Just because it's not at the same degree of seriousness as the people who live in Africa, which has been a barren land since the continents broke up. It's not a real problem. You know what, instead of me wasting the time that I have and the like two, like the 50 cents I have on food for them, that will most likely get stolen by the black market or a higher power like it usually does, I'm going to use that 50 cents and build it up with the next money that I get for something, something that I'm going to do later on this year, I don't even know if I am, and then save what's left of that so I can actually get stuff that I actually want. Like, I was able to get myself some nail polish that I wanted and some watercolor paper. You know what? I need nail polish. You want to know why? Because it's a creative outlet. And that's what I want to go to in a job. So I need things so I can survive in my country. I'm not going to take myself down to help them slowly rise. Like these people have been in the same spot since the beginning of time. They're not going anywhere, people. Stop trying. It's not it's not doing anything. Unless you go down there, get rid of all the figureheads, get rid of all the bad people, get rid of AIDS and malaria and all the bad animals and drain out all the water and replace it with good water and nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> Stupid! Oh my gosh, I can't do this anymore. I can't live here anymore. I'm gonna build a rocket ship. And I'm gonna move. I'm gonna legitimately move to Super Earth, that stupid little planet that the scientists found a few years ago and named it Super Earth. Yeah, because that makes you sound smart. I'm gonna move over there. No one can come with me. Literally no one. It's my planet now. I'm not, I'm no, no. Whatever's there will be eradicated unless it needs it. 
I'm gonna t I'm gonna take stuff out. If there is a bug there bigger than me, I may come back, or I may just go to the moon where there's no civilization at all. We'll see. Stupid thing getting on my nerves.